In this problem, we have a table. So yes means that the person had the disease. No means the person did not have the disease. Positive means that the test says that the person has the disease. And negative means that the test says that the person does not have the disease. So find the probability of selecting a negative test result given that the subject had the disease. So let's write that down. So probability of selecting a subject with a negative test result. So I'll just put neg. Given that, so given that is the line, disease. So we're only focusing on people that have the disease. So just focusing on the people that have the disease. So the people that have the disease are the yeses. So just the yeses. So we add these up. So 316 plus 16. Well, if you add 10 to 316, that's 326. So you add 6 more, that should be 332. So 332. So this always tells you the number on the bottom, right? The people that have the disease, so we just add up all the yeses. From these, we're looking for the negatives, so only 16. So 16 out of 332. So 16 out of 332. So 0 0.048, 0 0.048, let's type it in, okay, it says, what would be an unfavorable consequence of this error? So before we read the choices, let's try to form our own opinion, it might make it easier to answer the questions, because if you think about it, we have four multiple choice questions here, four choices, and three of them are wrong, it's always really hard to read stuff that's wrong. So let's form our own opinion and then read it. So we found the probability of picking a negative result given that the person actually has the disease. So the probability of, of testing negative given that you actually have the disease is 0 0.048. That's pretty bad, right? Because that means that there's a chance that you have the disease and the test is missing it. So you could have the disease and take this test and there's a 4.8% chance that the test will not catch it. So not very good. Um, let's, let's look at the choices. The subject would not receive treatment and could spread the disease. Yeah, yeah that could be bad, right? Because you could have the disease, take this test. It could say you're negative and then you could spread the disease. Or even worse, you could, you know, get really, really sick and, you know, get worse. So I'm going to go with A. I'm not even going to read the other choices. I'm convinced that I think A is the right choice. Let's try it. Yep, that's good. I hope that made sense.